Many people enjoy ice fishing in Lakes Country. Almost 10% of Minnesota's 10,000 beautiful lakes are in Ottertail County, and one of the largest is Ottertail Lake. To learn more about ice fishing, we're visiting the Lodge, one of many area resorts that are open year-round. Owners Paul and Debbie Ness provide accommodations to ice fishermen from all over the Midwest. Tell me a little bit about ice fishing uh, and your setup up here on Ottertail Lake. Uh, well, you know, we've got about four or five resorts that do winter business, and uh, you know, it's it's not as lively as our summer business, but we uh, uh, we got a couple resorts that have some fish houses, and we've got a a great fishing guide who you know spends about 70, 80 hours year-round on the water. You know, in between the, the ice time in and out is about the only time he's not out here. As far as uh, the resorts, I know uh, a few of us have some modest uh, houses for our guests that we have. Uh, a lot of guests come up and use portables and kind of go all over the lake. And So where do, where do the ice fishermen come from? Uh, they come from everywhere. In fact, uh, we get some Twin Cities traffic. We get a lot from Kind of the I-29 corridor from uh, from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, down to uh, through Sioux City, uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Oh. Uh, a lot of Iowa and Nebraska folks like to come up and try their hand out on the uh, on the ice. So great. Do you ever get people from Missouri coming up here? Oh yeah. Oh sure. Well, yep. they, they say, show me the fish. They typically come what on a Thursday or Friday. You know, a lot of long weekend traffic. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, it's it's a far enough drive where. Um, you know they want to get in at least a full weekend, sure. uh, but we have we have people that'll come up on a Friday night. And then uh, and, uh, at, at your resort, you've got kitchenettes where they can do yeah, their own full, cooking. Full kitchens. Yep. Okay. Yep. So in fact, the the couple of cabins we have winterized uh, come with uh, you know full size stove and fridge and gas grills outside, and so sure a lot of people bring their their steak just in case, but they hope to have fish fry a couple times <laughs> while they're up here. So I know. The people who come up too, they have their own recipes for cooking fish, and uh, they usually do a great job because sure. I, uh, I've, t I've tasted a lot of fish that I didn't catch, and <laughs> <laughs> they all taste good. So, how thick is the ice this year? A couple uh, of feet? Yeah, it's a little over two feet right wow. now. Wow! So, and generally we get to about that point. You know, on a on a thinner year, maybe it only gets to about two, or you know, or twenty inches or so. And I see you have these uh, interesting little uh, fishing rigs. That, yep. Uh, Our house has got a little rattle reel. So is, it, is this something that typically a person could rent if they came up here? They, yep. they could get one of these and. Yep. In fact, uh, you know, our house we we have for our guests if they they choose to stay in a cabin with us and if it's available we we just let our let them use our portal our, our permanent house that's out here. Sure. It's on our favorite hole, and we fish <laughs> we fish this same spot. You know, summer or winter. Really? Yeah, we're right on a, a nice break. Otter Tail Lake's got great structure. And so, a lot of flats around the outside, and then it drops off. And where we're at right now is in about 20 feet of water. Okay. Um, if we go about 15, 20 feet this way, we're in 8 feet of water. No kidding. And so, we're just right right on that drop, um, and we're about at the bottom of, of, of a drop. Okay. Uh, which works good. It kind of holds the fish. Huh. And so, if they're around, they're a little quiet right now, but... That's great. That's going to jig and work it a little bit. So what are you using for bait this year? Uh, minnows. Minnows. That seems to be what catches them, huh? Yep. Well, wow, great. There was a gentleman at Ken's Tackle as we came out getting some wax worms, though. Mm -hmm. um, and he might Those be... good for the sunnies. Yep. They're, he's probably out doing some crappie holes, or sure. he might be perch fishing as well. <laughs> This is uh, Ross Hegmeister with Meister Guide Service. Ross, can you tell us what a person might expect if they come ice fishing on Ottertail Lake? What might they expect to find here? 
Primarily, we're a we're a, a walleye and perch fishery, and and a lot of questions that I even had as recent as today were, are the crappies biting out here, and and can we catch some panfish while we're catching walleyes or perch or whatever. My answer to that is um, I've guided for 15 years and I've never caught a crappie on the lake. It's not a panfish fish fishery. This lake is actually designed by God himself uh, for perch and walleyes, the way I see it. Uh, fine walleye and perch producer in good numbers, good sizes. Uh, it's a lake that I don't think there are many lakes in general that will ever top the action that this lake can give. People really, really dig the perch too. You know, the perch are tasty little animals. And uh, a lot of fun action fishing them too. Yeah, yeah, you bet. The perch, I think, uh, we'll go back to the 80s. Had a bad rap where they were kind of the uh, nuisance fish or the annoying fish, and now it's actually the absolute opposite. Where um, most of my business and the attention that I get in the winter time is because of the perch themselves. So, uh, and they're not just scrappy perch; they're they're good sized perch. Um, I do provide. The, the shack fishing or the fish house, but I do get groups like these guys that like to be outside, especially on nice days like today. Um, hi, what's your name? Jason Elmerichs. And Jason, where are you from? Waterloo, Iowa. So you've been fishing out here for how long? Been out here for three days now. Okay. And you're catching a lot? We are. We are. What are you catching? What's biting? Seems like the walleye. All right. How many have you caught so far? Six. All right. Well, that sounds great. You know, looks like you're going to get another one on your line any minute now. <laughs> so you guys having a fun time? Yeah. Iowa? You're from Iowa too? Yep. Cedar Falls. Cedar Falls? Cedar Falls, Iowa. Okay, great. And uh, have you guys been, is this your first time on Otter Tail Lake? Yep, our first time. So what, uh, if, if you were going to say anything to your friends back in Iowa about fishing up here, You'd probably tell them that the fishing isn't any good, right? Nope. Yep. Keep it a little secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what's what's your name? Cody Faust. And you're from what town? Sheldon, Iowa. So how long have you been up here fishing? Three days. And looks like you're having pretty good luck. We're having really good luck. Had a nice time. Having a fun a lot time. Of nice fish. Been coming up here for 10, 12 years. Oh, so you <laughs> must like it if you keep coming yeah, back. We have a really nice time every time we come on. My name is Joe Kamitchell from Minnetonka, Minnesota. Well, how do you like fishing on otter tail? It's wonderful. Better than Minnetonka? Yes, much better. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time, so it's oh. a good time. Pretty standard stock uh, otter tail lake walleyes. Um, the guys are exceptional too. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great day fishing on otter tail lake. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it, these guys had a good time. Yeah, and, and uh, so any last parting words for would-be fishermen from Iowa? <laughs> Come up and fish on Otter Tail Lake. It's you know seriously, it's it's a fine destination. Not just because of the quality fishery that we have, but it's a, it's a reasonable distance too.